Hi, my name is Matt Gallion, and I'm going to be demonstrating for you three unique features that help with language barriers and occupational health screening and testing. Uh, so before I get into those, um, a little bit about our company. Benson Medical Instruments designs and manufactures the most comprehensive and integrated hearing conservation compliance solutions available today, cost effectively delivering thousands of audiometers to sites all around the globe. So if you are in need of an audiometer, um, please feel free to contact us on our Facebook page. You can message us or you can go to bensonmedical.com and fill out a contact form. We'd love to hear from you. Um, so like I said, today we're going to look at three different uh, features that help uh, with language barriers and occupational health screening and testing. Uh, and so we're going to look at these features in our CCA 200 Mini Plus product. This is our our plus, uh, this, this is our, um, our uh, audiometer. Uh, this is a computer controlled automatic audiometer. So, um, so to get into it, we're just gonna jump right into these three features. The first that we're gonna look at is audiogram histories. The audiogram histories <clears throat> is a, a questionnaire that um, subjects fill out to give a little bit of uh, their background if they have tinnitus or if they have a head cold the day that they're taking the test. That's something that's really important for uh, examiners uh, to note um, for uh, the, the reviewing audiologist uh, when they are reviewing the test results. Um, so in order to take a look, uh, so let's take a look at what this notification letter or this uh, audiogram histories report looks like. So let's, let's look at Raphael Alexander. Um, we're going to start by looking, by um, having his preferred language as English, so you can take a look at what this report looks like and what the questions are um, to get, kind of get an understanding of what this is used for. So we'll go to uh, our reports here, and we're going to look at subject history questionnaire. And I'm going to print a screen so you can take a look at that. And so this is uh, Raphael's, um, <clears throat> the questionnaire for Raphael to fill out. Uh, his, uh, again, uh, I switched his language to English so that, that you can kind of understand what, what these questions are. Uh, so have you recently experienced pain in either ear? Have you recently experienced a draining ear? Have you recently experienced dizziness? You know, the, the answers to these questions will help uh, the examiner or reviewing audiologist determine uh, whether or not uh, an STS, if Raphael ends up having an STS, whether that is occupational, uh, occupationally related, or if it could be just because he has um, a head cold that day and he needs to be retested. So, um, so let's take a look at that same report, but in a different language. So, um, Raphael, let's actually change his preferred language to Spanish. And, and uh, we have um, uh, 21 different languages that we provide support to. Um, so if you, d if you uh, test a lot of, uh, uh, in a lot of diverse areas, this is really, really useful. Um, this can make your, your company a lot more efficient when testing. So let's, let's switch uh, Rafael to Spanish. And then we're gonna go up to report, print, Audiometry, and we're going to take a look at that questionnaire again. And as you can see, it uh, changed the report's language uh, from English to Spanish. Uh, so Rafael up here, uh, as you can see, his language is now Spanish, and and these questions are translated into his preferred language. Uh, and this this happens for any one of our 21 languages that we provide uh, support for. Um, and this is really helpful uh, to get that, that information, that history, um, medical history information uh, before, um, before providing the test. Um, so so this, is, this is really useful um, to uh, provide you with, with maximum efficiency when gathering this information from, from people. So that is our audiogram histories feature. So the next feature we're going to take a look at is our instructions, audio instructions feature. Uh, so uh, we provide audio instructions in, again, 21 different languages. 
um, for, um, for when the subject sits down, puts on the headphones, they will hear the, the test instructions um, in their headphones so that they will know what to do um, to perform a successful uh, hearing test. Uh, so let's switch Alexander, or Raphael's language back to English. And we will take a listen to what those uh, instructions sound like. So I'm going to assign him to this audiometer. Um, and this dialog box is just telling me that, that Raphael is being assigned to the audiometer with this serial number. So I'm going to click Assign. And over here, his instruction language is English because we switched his language back to English. So um, let's take a listen to what these instructions sound like in English. Uh, so I'm going to, get, going to go up here and click Start Audiogram. This is a hearing check. You'll be listening for some tones. When you hear a tone, press the button once and quickly release the button. No matter how faint the tone, press the button when you hear the tone and quickly release the button. Upon completion of your hearing check, please remain seated and quiet until the operator releases you. So that is an example of what those audio instructions sound like in English to give you a little bit of an idea of what the, what the instructions say. So let's clear that audiogram. And we are going to go back to Raphael and we're going to change his language from English to, let's say, Russian. And click OK. And we will assign him again to this audiometer. <clears throat> and as you can see, his inst the instruction language changed from English to Russian. Um, so let's take a listen to what it sounds like in Russian. Это проверка слуха. Пытайтесь услышать звуковые сигналы. Когда услышите звук, нажмите и сразу отпустите кнопку. Каким бы слабым ни был звук, нажимайте кнопку и сразу ее отпускайте. После завершения проверки слуха оставайтесь на месте до тех пор, пока оператор не разрешит вам встать. All right, so, um... So that's that's an example of those um, audio instructions in a different language, and again, we can pr we provide those those instructions in 21 different languages. Um, so this is really helpful if you want to be uh, efficient in testing really diverse groups of people, because um, if if you think about how much time it would take to try to translate these instructions to uh, to different languages, it just would, would really be uh, uh, difficult and, and it's not a very scalable solution. So, so this is very helpful in, in, um, in giving those instructions uh, to, to people. All right, so um, we're going to look at one more feature. So we looked at our audiogram histories notification feature, we looked at our instruction, audio instructions feature, and now we're going to look at the notification feature, notification letter feature. Uh, and this is uh, a, a report. Um, so let's go back to Raphael, change his language back to English, so you can take a look at that notification letter uh, in English. So we're going to go up to reports again, print, oops, print audiometry, and we'll select subject notification letter and print to screen. So the notification letter, uh, this is an example of what that looks like. This uh, it basically just gives um, feedback after the test so the subject can see what their results are and if they have an STS. Um, so, uh, so this is a way if someone, if someone does have an STS, then they will um, leave that testing booth knowing that they need to take some kind of action in order to correct that. Um, so um, let's close this out and let's take a look at that notification letter. Um, let's take a look at it in German. So we'll change Raphael's language over to German. Click OK. We'll go to Report Print Audiometry. Uh, and we'll take a look at that notification letter again. And as you can see, 
<clears throat> that notification letter is now in German. Um, so let's take a look at it one more time in a different language. So let's try let's try Italian. So Raphael's language is now Italian, and so we'll click Report Print Audiometry. Subject notification letter. And now you can see that that notification letter is translated into Italian. So that is our notification letter uh, report feature. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. So again, we, we looked at the audiogram histories questionnaire. And uh, again, that can be translated into to 21 different languages. Uh, we have our audio instructions. Uh, which can be in, again, 21 different languages, and our notification letter, um, which can be translated into 21 different languages. Uh, so that is all the time I have to, uh, to provide today. Um, and uh, so that's, that's pretty, much, pretty much what we... Uh, so that's pretty much it for, for me today. Um, if you uh, thought that this video was helpful, please feel free to like it and to share it with other people that might uh, benefit from this video. And if you would like to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and like our Facebook page and follow us. Uh, and we will provide um, updated videos in the future, updated information about our company. Um, so, uh, and if you want to want a an on-site demonstration from us please let us know um, message us on our facebook page or go to bensonmedical.com and fill out a contact form i really appreciate you uh, taking the time today to look at our product and um, i again my name is matt galleon i'm with benson medical instruments company and we will see you again next time thanks